Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to another Team of Monday! Our favorite day of the week. My favorite day of the week. Lots of fun things that I've forgotten about. I do know that in here we do have some beauty items. That's why I have no makeup on today. I know my regular beauty radiating out. <laughs> but, so I decided I would wear no makeup so we can actually really test the stuff out. Um, also, if you didn't know before, all the links for everything that's still available will be down below. Also, the link and code for your $100 coupon bundle will be down below in the description box. So, there's a wide variety of stuff in here. I know there's beauty, but there's definitely a wide variety of stuff in here today. Also, if anybody's wondering why I took Paco down, and it's not that I don't care about him anymore, <laughs> in any way, shape, or form, um, I thought it was time for a change, to change it up. Plus, every time I moved, all the lights would always hit and shine into the uh, frames. Um, our goal is to maybe, I have bought these shelves to put up, and then to display all my cheap chick, um, gifts, my chick, my chick gifts I've gotten for my subscribers, so that's the goals, it just hasn't happened yet. I'm a busy lady. So, without further ado, I'm gonna pour out everything, because I can't remember which one has what. And then we'll go from there. I think this is the one of the beauty one. We got a lot of stuff. I brought a clippy for my hair for the new one thing that I have to put on my hair. I'm on a head. Okay, so this one. This one, the first one, it was $1.97. It's a forehead wrinkle patch. That's what, that, that's what makes it. But, I mean, as we all know, as we get older, I'll be 44 in June. Like, I always feel like my forehead, I move my eyebrows so much. Maybe you can't really see that much right here, but see, like I still have the lines. That's why I'll have bangs to the end of time. And let's the thing, we're, we've got a bunch. I thought you just got one. We're gonna try it out. I figured I'd put this one on the beauty stuff on the beginning so you can really kind of know by the end. I guess it's like this. So before, Not so fantastic. Everybody's like, grow your bangs out. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> nope. All my clients are like, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be 44. They're like, oh, you look so young. I'm like, it's the bangs. <laughs> it's the bangs. <laughs> Helps me live the lie. All right. So I'm guessing this goes like in the middle. This will go around. So we'll just put that on here. Does it give you any instructions on how long to leave it on? My appearance of wrinkles, ingredients. I think it's underneath the plastic part. Storage, caution, for external use only. Not oil use, it says. For three hours. Our design will work for three hours every night to ensure maximum benefits. Don't worry, the patch is soft and comfortable to wear. So you can relax and enjoy at night without experiencing any discomfort. Well, we're going to leave it on for the amount of times here. I'm going to give you the now time situation, but I still have Can you stand the front how many there are? 10 pieces. So I still have nine more left, but we're just going to leave it on for now. And there's other ones too. I just have to find them. Is that it? No. This is kind of one, but we'll use that too. Gosh, really. Oh, here's one. There's three. Here's one, too. Okay, so this one is called Botox Up. It's probably like Botox in a bottle. <laughs> we'll see. I paid $1.97 for this, so it doesn't work. No big, uh, out of my bank. This I got for those. See those? As we get older, like the skin around our eyes is the thinnest skin we have, so usually it's the, especially on a woman, it's the place we show aging first. So here this is Botox up. Do you have any instructions? Benefits, ingredients. After cleansing and toning, take the appropriate amount of essence and apply evenly on the face and neck and massage gently with your hands. Circular motions for absorption. Shelf by three years. That's pretty good. So, I mean, I wasn't planning on putting this everywhere because I don't really have wrinkles everywhere. Got to pre-pump it. There we go. So here we go. That's probably, is that an appropriate amount? Would you consider that an appropriate amount? Uh, 
I don't know, I'm just gonna kind of put it around my eye and out. I'm gonna put it on like a decent amount. I guess in reality, I might have put it right here. But plump it up. Feels fine. I don't see any problems there. And then the third one, which I thought was weird and crazy, so I just got it. It was 44 cents. And it's like... I don't know how to explain it. It's like... Collagen... Bands? Collagen something? I mean, to me, it just looks like... String? <laughs> Didn't even give you, like, the full... Kind of what to do, what not to do. Like, do you just... Like, it looks like string. Like, just string. I don't know. It had on the picture, like, you put it on your face... And then it like absorbed into your face or something like but to me it just feels like string do i need to like put a product on top of it or do i need to like moisten it it didn't say anything <laughs> let me put some of this on top of it and see if it like dissolves or gets into the skin This I'm very sure of. I don't feel it dissolving or doing anything. Maybe we'll just leave it there. <laughs> so maybe we'll just leave it there and let it kind of do its thing. And this is kind of like a beauty product. $1.97. I hate touching things. And I have all of these cuticle ones that you... That have a brush. But I feel like they give you so much out of that brush that like, I'm still trying to figure out... Had to get it off my fingers. Oh, man. Story of life over here, guys. Oh, got it. This is a roll-on. And I got the aloe one. There were different ones you could pick from. And I was hoping I could, like, maybe bring this to work. And hook my, like, do my cuticles at some points, like, in between clients. They start getting a little whatever. If you know whatever it means. This is good, though, because it doesn't give you that much. It's not like it's an insane amount. Where I feel like the other one gives you an insane amount. We're just going to put it on all of them. My hands are always in like water and washing things and doing stuff. Now let's smell it. Even though I probably smell like... It smells fresh. And I usually do this. So let's leave that on too. Alright, moving on. Um... This one I'm fast tracking. I paid eleven dollars and nineteen cents. I bought another laundry basket, laundry basket, laundry holder from Timu, and I ripped it. Like I'm telling you guys, when I do, when I finally bring my laundry home, it is a hot mess. Like, I have so much laundry that the bag just like I was shoving and shoving, and it just like broke on me. So this one I paid a little bit more money because sometimes you pay a little more, you get better quality. And this one is much more hardcore. So I, have, I already have another one, but I like to have one for home, one for work, so I can bring, like, maybe just one load back and one load here. Like, so, I, you know, I have opportunities. This one has a comfort band. Even the one I got off on Amazon doesn't have a comfort band. And adjustable. And the top closes like this. Okay. Ooh, it's got a pocket. It's got way more than I thought it did. Yes. <laughs> that's, be that's better than the one I got off Amazon. I swear the one on Amazon I paid like $13 or $14 and it's starting to rip. It's my fault though. Alright, it looks like I have one of these which I use for, I guess now mainly my, for my Poshmark and for my whatnot purchases. Uh, I got 100 pieces. It was $171. These are like the smaller ones. When I just have like smaller gifts, I have bigger ones too. I like to have a good amount of those. This was only 64 cents, so I got it. Because I just love having scissors. And between scissors and those little razors, 
my house is a hot mess. Like, you can see how much I move my eyebrows. Like, if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't have bangs, you guys would be like, whoa. Like, you can even see, like, the creases in the thing now. So, this is a pair of scissors. I guess their kitchen or whatever has a sheath. Sheath. $0.64. Because those ones I used to get out at the Dollar Tree that were, I guess, now a dollar twenty-five. they always seem to get weird and, like, easily rusty and not cut, e cut as good anymore. So, for $0.64, thank you very much. I got some more of these people. <laughs> for $0.47, some of you guys said they were for, like, putting in, like, dioramas for, like, small things you, like, little train stations. I just randomly put them in my gifts for Poshmark and whatnot. I just think they're just funny. And then this I thought was neat. It's a a dollar nineteen, and they're little aromatic packages. When I first got this, the smell was overwhelming. Still is nice. So just like little packs of smell. I don't know if you're supposed to open them or just leave them in there. Let's see. There's no, like, real cuttable place on there. Oh, that's way stronger. I mean, all it is is, like, a little piece of, I guess, cardboard with a scent on it. But you got, like, a bunch of them. I figured this would be good to put in drawers. Or just, like, maybe, like, in the bathroom in certain places. I don't know. In your car? In different spots instead of just having that, like, one on the front? Oh, I got two of these. So I got two of these. They're 89 cents each. I feel crazy. I'll like, show this off by taking the other thing down. And they, I don't know, they thought like they were like a cool thing to have with my shorter hair. So they have clips. Oh, they're velour. So they have clips, but then clips on clips. That makes sense? Let's put this down. So we got clips on clips. Um... And then what I'm guessing you do is take a part of your hair like this, then use this clip. Hold on. Rob just came home. He's probably like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then you put it like there to hold your hair back. And then you take this into three pieces. This is me learning as I go. I can't see anything doing this thing. You can like twist it and then put it, oh gosh, did I ever tell you I'm not hair oriented? <laughs> One of the girls at work was like, can you do braids? And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and the fact that I even went to hair school for six months makes it kind of crazy. I mean, obviously this will look much better when I actually do it, you know, looking in the mirror like a regular person. And not like this. <laughs> when I can actually see what I'm doing. But yeah. So I thought it was like a separate way. That I could like put my hair back. Without having to just keep it in the little pony when I'm working. Or other times. I mean especially if I did all three at the top. Like both of these two at the top. And then three three. That'll kind of keep my hair in my face. But also give it a cute little something. I'll leave it on. I got two. Then I bought this, which I will test out. I bought this because I was asking Rob if I could sneak it on the cruise because you're not allowed to have steamers. And he was like, don't try it. And I was like, oh, but you know, how much was it? It was $8.46. And I'm like, if they take it, is it like the end of the world? But it's small. So I'm like, would they even know that it really was? You can do it like this. Or like this but I think it's supposed to go like this when you're using it um I mean come on like like if they take it not a big deal but if they didn't take it game changer my life game changer I think there's a couple things we have to test out so let me get through the rest of the stuff and then we'll test everything out we even got a little thing you can put on it safety first like when you're done so it's not hot on things so we got that we'll test out and then this one we're gonna test out too because I have to go outside and get I think I've gotten multiple ones of these. $2.39. Extension lamp. 
And I thought that could also be handy in life too. So supposedly, supposedly, I always say supposedly because I don't know. You plug this in, you put your bulb in here, and then you can mold it anywhere you might need a little bit of light. Which, that could be handy in a lot of situations. So we'll test that out too. And this one I really can't like test out, but we're going to hope it just works. $8.25. I got this to go in my like to-go storage unit situation. Like maybe if I start getting bigger ones. So this will go underneath an item, something big and heavy, and you'll lift it up. And then you put these little things underneath it. Say you got like a piece of furniture or any, even just anything heavy. Even like a big heavy box. I could use this. And you put these four underneath it and then you can roll. I thought that was gosh darn handy for me. Or even in life, even when you move, it's a neat thing to have if you're moving. What are you? Oh, so here's the tool bag. So this is $5.19. And this is a tool bag that I bought for storage units. Because right now I have all the little kind of storage unit tools in just the big gigantic bag that I have all the other stuff in. So I'm like searching for my gloves. And like, I used to have them in just like a plastic bag and then the thing started falling out. So I figured with this, I can have all my storage unit stuff handy, even like if I have smaller items, like I know I have a couple of like a knife and things, I can put the knife in here. This is not a bad. And it like will stay open because it's got the metal or the plastic piece or metal right there. I wonder if this will fit in here too. Sure does. I mean, pretty much it'll be this. Uh, I think I have like one thing to like pick stuff up with your hands, my gloves, a knife. And I think there's a few more other things. I could even put the trash bags in here too, because they're always just like flopping around in the big bag. So yeah. And then I'll look more professional. Not that anybody really sees me, but if they do, I'll look more professional. Then I think I got this in a in a bigger ones in a box not too long ago, but I got these to bring in Rhode Island. Two dollars and ninety-five cents. There are, I guess there's five of my cousins. My cousins have like five kids. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. This you get four of them. Um, you can make, this is what you make. That's not supposed to be on there. Um, snowballs. So you'll take a snowball and make it into certain things. So this one's a little chick. This one's a little snowman. Like I said, you, you wouldn't have the rubber bands on them. This one's a heart. Cute. I do feel a little tingle in my forehead. Does that mean it's working? Or burning my forehead off. And then a little soccer ball, which I think the other ones I got from the... I think it was 88 Lots or whatever. They had, like, bigger ones, and they were all, like, soccer balls. So, yeah, I'll bring those up. Yes, you guys wonder what I'm bringing to Rhode Island. I'm bringing my big suitcase. I actually booked my flight for July. Big suitcase. I'll probably take up this much room. I'm going to bring a second checked bag full of stuff. And I'm going to bring a carry-on with stuff. Because I don't think I'm going next year because the goal is I'll buy a house next year. So I don't think I'm going to go next year. So I need to clean out some of these gifts because I have so much. So much. All right. Next thing. <coughs> $7.58. Oh, this is my little tuning fork. Which made me so sad that a long time ago when I did a storage unit and I found a tuning set, I sold it. But I was like, oh, just one? I can just deal with just one on my whole goal for relaxation and, like, meditation and calmness, which I have a hard time stopping my brain. So, comes with this thing. The other thing. That works better. But I just have to really, like, hit it. I can feel it vibrating. It also came with this. Maybe you can work inside the... Only thing I think is you can do something in there. Like next to my ear, I can really hear it. I hope I can get you guys to hear it. Can you hear it? If you can, I'm sorry. I can hear it, and that's all that matters, really. <laughs> so we got that for me to have my meditation. If I'm feeling a little stressed out, boom, 
that and LA Tibetan bowl. Center me. Little sage around the house. Do the whole thing. Next, oh, I got the extension pack. So this is the expansion pack for the Lyrically Correct. Which I'm planning on bringing that to Rhode Island. But it really, you know, once you've answered the questions once, you almost kind of know the answers. Oh, I got it. That actually worked. So let's just grab one out. Take the challenge. I've got to figure out. Okay. In anywhere, Slim is from 1112 lets us know he has what type of bed. In anywhere, Slim from 118 lets us know he has what type of bed. Slim Shady? I don't know. Oh, it's a A soft bed, B really big bed, C water bed, D California king size bed. I still don't know. Water bed. Should I have known that one? Now I feel like I can't go off in like a not knowing <laughs> situation. <laughs> like I gotta go out with a with a bang. When it comes to the the meeting in Silk's bedroom, they said you should be there or what? Be square? Nineties R and B. <laughs> that was my jam. One more. This was mobile choice. Keisha from Total. Total finds herself thinking about him at what time of the day? At night? The middle of the day? Early in the morning? All day? I'm just gonna say at night. I don't know. The middle of the day? These are harder than I thought. They're harder than the other ones. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right, I got another pair of slides. Oh, some flip flops. Four dollars and seventy nine cents. These are we gonna call fancy flip flops because they got fanciness, and they have a little bit of a. And what you do is when you when you find that these are really soft, just go outside on the concrete. Rub back and forth a few times, you'll get your grip. No worries. I brought um, the kind of nicer ones that look like this um, on the cruise and warm for fancy night, and they were fine. So, yes, fancy flip flops. I have a pair upstairs that I call my fancy flip flops, and they just hurt a bit middle of my feet. So, see you later. All right, next we have. Oh, this fell out. Oh, I got the knife that I was going to bring. So, this is the knife I paid $1.42 for it, and this knife. Is gonna go um, in the tool thing. Is it easy to close? Yep. So this will go right into the tool thing. So now we'll know exactly where my knife is. First one. Then, oh, this is cool. I, I believe this is what I think it is. Yes, cute bunny. $7.46. They had a bunch of them. So this is the cheapest one I could find. I know it looks like nothing right now. Some of the pictures of them look like they're going to be like ginormous, but I knew this one was going to be big. And slowly every day, you take a piece off, and then it'll slowly form into a bunny. I don't know which side to start with. Oh, that's the. They both look exactly the same. Let's do the calendar. Oh my god, I'm going the wrong way. I hope I'm doing this right. It just looks like paper to me. Am I going? Wait. Oh wait, I see the thing. Oh man, you gotta go down pretty far. Now I can't tell if it's the bottom or the top. I can see it though. So once you get to, oh, let's just, let's just rip. So once we get to that point, I'm going to use all these pieces of paper for notes. <laughs> you see? 
you get to, you start to show something, and it's supposed to be a bunny. I'm not going to go that far. So, oh, it goes like this. It'll be, it'll be sideways, so it doesn't matter what way you go. So, yeah, so you get a cute little bunny. So, as you kind of go as you go, and you'll start to slowly um, see your cute little design. So, I thought that was neat. So, you do that for one every day. So, I'm going to do that. But, yeah, you can reuse these. These are nice little cards. I mean, besides the ones that get a thing out of it. Like, this is a perfect card to be, like, a thank you or whatever I want it to be. I don't know what this is. $3.84. Oh, this is a cup for Rob. I keep t I was telling him a while ago I had this, and, like, I didn't know where it was. So, he's been drinking. He bought an espresso maker, an espresso machine. And so I thought this would be a neat thing for him to drink it out of. He makes it, like, into, like, iced espresso. Well, this is glass. I didn't know it was glass. I thought it was plastic. Well, you gotta be careful. That is definitely glass, but it has a little cup. Wow. I didn't expect glass. I thought it was in plastic. I told him it was plastic. It even comes with a straw, but you can use whatever straw, obviously, you want. I didn't know it was glass. Well, that's not really a bad deal for three something for um, it to be like that. Okay. <laughs> and then this one, I don't know. I, I bought it because I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like a real gun. But Rob said, of course, it's not a real gun if it has, like, a tip that's a certain color. I guess because it has that. But it looked to me, like, pretty, like, realistic. It looks like a mag. And, like, legit bullets. That go in casings. I gotta put this together. Hold on. Alright, I have to show you this before I continue. These are just little foams. And I'm guessing you just put it right here in the little bullet. But I also can't figure out how to get the thing off to put... I guess I'm an idiot too. Like, I don't know what way you put bullets in. I'm guessing like that. <laughs> I'm guessing like that. Or does it go the other way? It doesn't seem like it'll fit the other way. So it's got to be this way. So let me fill the mag up. So there's a lot left over out of the three pack. Because obviously probably you could lose these pretty easily. I did find out how to get the magazine out. Is this button right here. I filled up both the magazines. Wrong way. You can tell I never worked with a gun. Then it's in there. And I'm guessing you. Nothing came out. Oh. I had to pull it like that. But now, I'm confused. Now it's not doing anything. Did I do something wrong? Did I break it? Look at this. I mean, the bullets right there. Did I put too many bullets in? Should I have had Rob do this and not me? Probably. I'm going to see if I can work on this a little bit. And if you see me back next and working on one of those things, then we're working on one of those things. So while I'm waiting for the steamer to steam <laughs> warm up, um, obviously I couldn't get to fix the other thing, but Rob will probably do it later. Well, let's see if we can make light. We can. I don't want to blind you. But yeah, I think this thing's pretty handy. You could just, like bring it wherever you need it. Have a little light where you might want it. Anyone filming this might come in handy. All right, let's wait for that steamer and turn this off. And then you can just iron it down. So it's not really like a straight up steamer. It's more like a iron with steam, I guess you would say. So you just press this button up here. This thing, like I said, is hot. Ha ha ha. And then you just press it, and it leaves a little mist out, and then you can, like, iron it. Which I'm pretty sure they'll still take from me, from the cruise. But, 
Rob fixed the uh, gun, so let's go over there. If you hear anything, I left the door open a little bit. Didn't mean to. Anyways, so Rob told me I had the bullets in backwards. I've never loaded a magazine. I don't know. I didn't really read the instructions properly. So yeah, so I had them in backwards. So now it does work. And it boom, so you can see like the old casing will come out. And then you can shoot again. Which it did. And then I messed it up again. <laughs> Rob did it like six of the time. They were perfectly fine. Anyway. He'll fix it. I'll probably interview this my dad. Now, first thing, I forgot this was even on my face. And it's still there. It didn't really, like... I mean, it kind of became one on my face. A little bit. I don't know where my clip went. But I do have this clip. <laughs> I don't think it's going to make it there. Yeah. I'm a hot mess, guys, like, all the time. Or was, like, a spicy disaster. Let's just put this up like this. I can't see what I'm doing. What did I do wrong there? There we go. Alright, so it's been like, I don't know, like 40 minutes? Out of three hours? I do feel like a little bit of tingling and or burning. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, it's taking out a like, piece of hair of my face. It does have like kind of like a medicated scent. I mean, it's definitely red because obviously I just ripped my part of my skin off. Just kidding. I mean, it's like, it's like a big sticker. Will I keep using them? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll see how it looks in like 20 minutes. If it's still, if it's still red, then maybe not. But if it isn't, then maybe I will. So much cleaning up to do. But I am excited about this little situation, making myself a little rabbit. Maybe just have it like this, sitting, and then you pull it off. I'm ready to do that. I don't know. My forehead feels funny. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the roundabout craziness, always my who knows what I got situation. I enjoy it, so I hope you do too. I gotta find all these bullets now. Yeah, I'll give it to my dad. At least my dad can like try to find those bullets later on. Because <laughs> they're tiny. Um, yeah, so like I said before, anything that's still available, the links will be down below. If you haven't yet got your $100 coupon bundle, that'll be down below too. The link in the code. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you got any comments or questions, please put them down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, why the heck not? I would subscribe. So do it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.